I'm Pastor Volth from Emanuel Lutheran Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. You know, when a thunderstorm is coming, you can see the lightning and hear the thunder in the distance long before the rain ever starts to fall. It's a foreshadowing, this lightning and this thunder, telling you what is about to come. The Old Testament is full of foreshadowing, of foretelling who is going to come, namely our Lord Jesus Christ. One of the great foretelling events occurs in Genesis chapter 22. God has asked Abraham, a father, to sacrifice his only son, Isaac, with so many details that are identical or parallel to the details of the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus. Most obvious, of course, is the father who is going to sacrifice his only begotten son in Jesus. Yet there's so much more. There's the hope and resurrection that occurs after three days. There's a donkey and a son traveling together to a mountain to be sacrificed. Both sons carry the wood on which they are going to be sacrificed. The son is willing to be bound to be offered as that sacrifice. These are but a few of the numerous elements that are found both in the account from Genesis 22 and in our Lord's crucifixion, passion, and death. But most shocking is when God steps in to save Isaac from his death by providing a substitute. Where the son Isaac is saved from death, God does not spare his only son, Jesus, but offers him as a sacrifice. For Isaac, God provides a substitute sacrifice, a lamb whose head is encircled in thorns to die in its place. Jesus, the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, who takes away your sins at the cross, is offered as the substitute sacrifice for you. For your sin, you should die like Isaac. But God has provided this substitute lamb named Jesus. He saves you from your death by his death, and he gives to you his perfect life. You are absolved, forgiven. On the mountain of God, on Golgotha, God has provided your salvation, just as he provided salvation for Isaac. Thank you for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. If you're looking for an easy way to support higher things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon for content notifications. You can follow Higher Things on social media and on our website, higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing, we ask that you remember us in your prayers and donations.